Hey guys, it's George, and I'm going to go over some of the great features of George's Excel Checkbook Register version 10. Currently, I'm in the Accounts Summary, and this software allows you to have multiple accounts, and you can have accounts of different types, such as checking accounts and credit card accounts. I'm going to head over here to this Chase Checking Account, and here's where you enter your transactions, or you can import them via a CSV file from your bank or credit card. And once you do that, all of the amazing reports are automatically created for you. So let's go back to the account summary and let's go ahead and take a look at one of those reports. So towards the bottom right here, we're going to click on this income versus expense dashboard. And here you have some amazing charts and graphs that will represent your income and expenses, both on a monthly basis and a cumulative basis. For example, this last chart here is a cumulative chart. So your totals will accumulate throughout the year. So let's scroll back up to the top here. And this particular report allows you to select different time periods, such as this year, last year, and last 12 months. So let's take a look at one more amazing dashboard. That's this one right up here in the top right, this year versus last year. So this is another amazing dashboard. In this particular dashboard, I'm comparing salary for the year 2023 versus 2022. And you can compare those years both on a monthly basis and on a cumulative basis. So let's scroll back up to the top here. Another nice feature, if you click right up the top here, set category and year, you can choose different time periods and you can choose any category, not just salary. If you want to compare groceries for this year versus last year, you could do that. And you can also compare total income, total expenses, and the net amount. And one other thing that I wanted to mention is that in addition to this year, last year, you can compare last year to two years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And I'm going to head back to the account summary. And one other thing I want to mention is that in the registers, you can enter future data transactions. So all of these reports can reflect future data transactions also. So let's take a look at this report here, the reports pivot table in the top right. And this is one of my most favorite reports in the software because it is fully customizable by the user. So currently, this is a default layout in the program. I have an income versus expenses based on each category. So I've entered two years of data into the registers. So you can see here data for 2022 on a monthly basis and a yearly total, and also year 2023 on a monthly basis, yearly total. And there's also even a grand total that combines both years. What's also nice with this report is that you can collapse the months just to see the yearly totals. So now you have both years side by side and you can easily compare the totals. So I'm going to go ahead and expand those years again and show all the months details. Now up top here you have what's called a timeline and this allows you to filter the data by different time periods. So right now I have both 2022 and 2023 showing. If I just want to see year 2022 I just click there and instantly the report updates. If I just want to see 2023 it updated. And if I want to go ahead and clear those years, I could just click right here and show all of the years. And right here, you can choose different time periods, years, quarters, months, and even specific days. So let's take a look at the quarters. And if you wanted to see, for example, fourth quarter of 2022, just click there and you have that time period displayed instantly. And you can even select multiple quarters and see two quarters side by side. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that and show all the data. Next to the timeline is another category type slicer. So if you just want to see the income categories, you can see that, just the expenses. Or if you want to see both, just slide and select them both. And next to the category type is the account name slicer. And this is another really cool feature because right now all of the accounts are being shown in this data. But if you just wanted to see one account, you could do that. If I just want to see Discover credit card transactions, I could just see those there. Or if I wanted to see two accounts, you could highlight those. And if you click clear here, you'll see all of the accounts again. And because this particular report is fully customizable, you can add your own charts to better visualize the data. So to do that, just select inside the table, go up to the menu here, click pivot charts. And here you can select different type of charts to help you visualize your data. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now I've already created a chart based on expenses for just year 2023 and i'm going to go ahead and collapse this just to show the yearly totals 
So the pivot chart that I created to represent these expenses is right here. And you can create your own type of charts to help you represent and visualize your data to help you make better decisions. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this information. And I want to show you one other report that customers enjoy to use and very helpful to them in making their decisions. And currently we have an income versus an expense report by categories. Let's create an income and expense report by different payees or the people that you paid money to or the businesses that you paid money to. So to do that, it's really simple. You just right click inside the table here, show pivot field list, and then you're gonna drag up this category field, and then you're gonna drag down the description field. And just like that, you have an awesome report here of income versus expenses based on the description or the payee. So for example, you can see Trader Joe's here and you can see all of the payments made to Trader Joe's on a monthly basis and on a yearly total basis. So that's a really helpful tool that lets you see how much you're spending on different businesses. So let's take a look at one other awesome report and that is the net worth reports right up here on the top. Click that. And this net worth tracker allows you to see your account balances over time for each of your different accounts. So this particular chart consolidates the totals from all of the accounts that are selected into one line chart. So all of the accounts are selected here. So this will give you your total net worth. It started off at about 200,000 and it went up to over 300,000 in this time period here. So up here, this is all accounts, but if you just wanna see a specific account, you can click that. So if we just wanna look at Discover Credit Card, you can see here that we started off with a small balance of around 500 and we ended up with a balance of around 4,500. So this net worth tracker is important to see that in this particular account, your credit card, your debt is increasing over time. You can also combine two accounts, for example, your home mortgage and the home value. And this is basically your net equity because it's combining both your debt and the home value. You can also look at like a retirement account, this Roth IRA here, and savings accounts. So let's go ahead and show the value in all accounts. You just clear right there. And for category type, you're generally going to have all of those selected. Down below the chart is a table that represents the information in the chart. Now I want to show you one other layout that you can have with this net worth tracker. Go ahead and select inside the table. And on this panel that just opened up here, you're going to drag the account name over to this box next to it. And this particular net worth tracker will list all of the accounts separately on the same chart. You can also choose to select one account or groups of accounts. So for example, if I wanted to see the home mortgage and home value, I could see them side by side on the same chart. I'm going to go ahead and clear that and show all of the accounts again. So that's a great feature to help you keep track of your net worth and all of your different accounts. So let's go back to the account summary. One of the other things I want to cover is that in addition to all of these individual registers here for each of the accounts, you have a master register if you click right up here in the top right. And what this master register does is it automatically combines all of the transactions that you enter into the individual registers right here for you in one place. So this is great when you're searching for a particular transaction. You don't have to search for all the registers separately. You can just search through them here. And you can also filter by all of these column headings and get subtotals of those filters. If you look over to the right here, the account name field, you can see that this is made up of all of your different accounts. Let's go back to the account summary. Let's go back into one of these individual registers here. This is the Chase checking account. And I did want to mention that these registers have some amazing reconciliation tools to help you reconcile your account. You can see here that there's one item outstanding. That's this item right here. And if you select this item as reconcile, you can look up here and now you have zero items outstanding and your register balance equals your total cleared. And like the master register, you can also filter by each of these columns and get subtotals of those filtered transactions. So let's go back to the account summary. So that's an overview of Georgia's Excel checkbook register. And if you're interested in the product, there's a link below the video on YouTube that will take you to the product page. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive more great content.